going to present about the NGOs in the 21 century calls for climate strike by Friday for Future. In August 2018, Greta Thunberg, a 15-year-old Swedish environmental activist, decided to step out by not attending school and sit outside the Swedish parliament demanding action on the climate crisis. Her intention of this protest is for the Swedish government to reduce carbon emissions matching the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement is a legally binding international treaty on climate change to limit global warming to well below 2 Celsius or preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to industrial levels. On September 7, 2018, she stated that she would continue this strike on every Friday until the Swedish government did so and coined the slogan to this protest as Fridays for Future. Her action encouraged millions of people around the world to take action and join her to call for climate justice inspiring students to take part in this strike until now. The Fridays for Future demands that young climate activist members declared after a meeting in Lausanne, Switzerland, 2019, consists of three demands. The first one is to create a safe pathway under 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. The second is ensure climate justice and equity and listen to the best united science currently available. According to the strike statistics, there are 160 million strikers, 148,000 strikes even, and 8.6 thousand cities and 216 countries that are allied and called for climate action since the beginning of this event. The pandemic has been a threat to activists to protest on streets due to the restriction and lockdown. However, they continue to movements in this action. It was an, also an opportunity for young climate activists to bring the strike online. There were hashtags like digital strike and climate strike online, YouTube, live broadcast to share ideas and created their own social network in Instagram and TikTok to share information about the ongoing events. As a result, they gained atten attention from the media, allowing the movement to become more of a global level and put pressure on the governments as well as NGOs to take action in this situation. Fridays for Future can bring us to consider intergenerational justice, a concept that opens up the idea to consider the responsibility to our future generations. What humans are doing now to the environment now, whether it be increasing greenhouse gases by deforestation, natural gas distribution, or fossil fuels will always affect our children's and grandchildren's world. It is important for NGOs to react to events such as Fridays for Future to play a part in preventing climate change and to gain trust from customers that they care about. Society, a sustainable business refers to running a company without negatively impacting the environment, community or society while maintaining profits. For NGOs to maintain sustainability and play a role, play a responsible role, they must consider what is called the triple bottom line, people, planet, profit, these three parts are linked to the three in the interdependent aspects of sustainability, society, ecology, and economic, which make up a sustainable business. We can use this to measure status sustainability and support the result of the Fridays for Future event. Companies like Apple and IKEA are example of a sustainable business. At Apple, customers are able to exchange their old phones as a discount for new devices. This action is sustainable and has been working for many years. Customers or society can get valuable discounts for new products while Apple take old devices and reuse them or discard them properly for less harm to the environment. At the same time, customers will always return to Apple products, increasing profit to the company continuously. This promotes a sustainable, sustainable ecosystem that cares for all three parts of the triple bottom line. And for IKEA, in 2021, they swapped out single-use alkaline batteries to rechargeable batteries. This reduced harmful waste and also lower production amounts. For society, people will save money because batteries can be charged and reused instead of buying new ones. 
and the company can increase profits from sales of their own rechargeable batteries. IKEA is communicating that the company cares about small changes and is taking action to be sustainable. They are also increasing use of recycled material and encouraging customers to separate waste. This is my reference.